Welcome back to us, the Blackstone thing by Phil. It's the holiday season, and we're having cheesy, spicy hash browns right here on the Blackstone griddle. Stay with me. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Oh, man. Delicious. You can make a meal just off this right here. Okay, let's get started with these hash browns. This is gonna be great. Now I have frozen hash browns, the shredded, great value. Walmart. Okay, I'm just putting them in this bowl. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and put two eggs. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir this all up. Could use my hands, but I'm gonna go with the spatula right here. Now these are frozen, but that's fine. This will work out just perfect. We're gonna get this all stirred up really good. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add some spice. Now I'm using the smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and chives. This is a great, great seasoning, and I'm going to be very liberal with it. Oh, wow. Go ahead and add some salt. And a little bit of pepper. Love pepper. A little bit. Texas Pete, best hot sauce in town. Not too much, because we're going to add a little bit a little bit later. Okay, we're going to get this stirred up. That's frozen. I've got the griddle on uh, a medium, I would say right now it's on medium low. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. We're going to turn it up now to about medium. Give it a minute. Stir this up. Now, let's put some oil down. And we're going to add just a little bit of butter with that. Get that all going. Yeah, you see, see the griddle cooking up really good. We're going to lay these down and see how this turns out. Now, once we lay them down, uh, you do not want to start stirring them up or anything like that. You want to leave them alone. You just got to watch them brown. You're going to be tempted to flip them over, but you're just going to have to wait because it makes the best hash browns that way. And you're less apt to uh, have them all fall apart. But even if they do fall apart, and they do sometimes, and it probably will in this video, you never know. Okay, let's get all this out here. Okay. All right. Take this here. Now I'm letting them thaw out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to uh, flatten them down. Okay, then I'm going to make it easier for them to flip, I'm going to take these and go ahead and split it a little bit. Okay, don't have to be perfect, but you want it to where you'll be able to flip them over. Now what you need to do is go ahead and and uh, mash them down a little bit more get them good and flat get some of that moisture where it just cooks through and here we go so we all set now i like to add a little bit more salt a little bit more pepper and i can see the spices already now what we got to do it's just wait for them to brown around the edges. 
So the next time we come back, they're going to be browning. We're going to flip them over. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, be right back. Okay, they are browning up just a little bit. It's going to take just a few minutes more. I put a little bit more butter right here on top. So I need you to remember that. That will also help it brown up. And then we're going to add the cheese. Once we flip it over, this is going to be spectacular. I can't wait to bite into it. And I want you to join me on this trip. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing the video. It really, it really helps me out a whole lot, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and don't forget to leave me a comment. And seems like somebody's hunting. Okay, we'll be right back. I believe it's that time. They have browned around the edges. We're going to try it. Now, I cannot guarantee these won't fall apart, but I've done it, and it hadn't fell apart before. But with the video, we'll see. So I got a, the big spatula. So slip it up under there. Flip it over. Check that out. I hope the rest of them do that. Wow. These are looking good. Best way to cook hash browns on a black stone griddle. You need to share this with your friends. I went through a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how to do that. Now, quickly, we're going to go ahead and add our cheese right here. Now, I'm using Velveeta cheese. I mean, it's my favorite cheese, and uh, it gives it really, really good flavor. Okay. All right, so we're going to take the dome, cover that just for, just for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to be ready. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, about two minutes, pulling this off. And these are spectacular. Wow, they look great. So let's get these off the griddle, turn the griddle off. And my plate probably is not big enough, but it is what it is. Look at that. Man, don't they look great? Can't wait to dig into this. And here you have the best perfect hash browns on the Blackstone griddle. Spicy hash browns with cheese. Now I'm telling you, this is wonderful. Mwah. Great. Okay, now let's go ahead and get ready to dig into this. Use a little bit more Texas peat. Spread on top a little bit. I mean, this is gonna give it, this is gonna be great. Let's give it the taste test. Me and Mr. Claus gonna give it the taste test. And they're still hunting out here. Okay, I'm here in North Carolina, Central North Carolina. So there's a lot of hunting. Check this out. Oh man, delicious. You can make a meal just off this right here. And that's what I'm planning on doing. You could taste the spices in the hash browns. The Velveeta cheese gives it a great kick. I mean, it's a great flavor. The uh, Texas peat, I, I like the Texas peat. It just sort of adds right to it. I'm going to take another bite because this is delicious. And listen, thank you all for watching, and I appreciate it. And we'll see you the next time. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all have a great day.